just a big day for the Rangers here today and certainly a huge day for the young man Jack Leiter making his major league debut. The 23-year-old who will turn 24 in just a few days coming up from AAA Round Rock. Leiter made three appearances for the Express in two starts, and he comes up here to make his big league debut. Kenta Maeda was 17 years old in Japan when Al Leiter threw his final pitch in Major League Baseball in 2005. He is now the opposition for Al Leiter's son today. Simeon. 0 for 4 yesterday, but he got on base twice via errors. And Maeda, a little hesitation, and the pitch lifted deep out to left field, and that one's back to the wall. It's gone! Home run, Marcus Simeon. His third of the year. We start the game with a leadoff home run. one nothing Texas. They figured the Rangers were due. They weren't going to go an entire series without a home run, especially with all the power that's been suppressed in this lineup. That's a way to get it started. Jack Leiter making his major league debut. Four seam fastball, slider, curveball, cutter, changeup. And here we go. And his first pitch of his big league career. A good fastball right in there for strike one. The guys on the bench calling for that ball. Leiter tosses it aside, and that one will be preserved. Here's his one strike offering. And that one right in there. The good changeup. And he's ahead 0 and 2 on green. The right hander's 0 2, and he puts it right in there. Strike three called. And Jack Leiter on three pitches picks up his first big league strikeout. Well, that was easy. Al Leiter and his family enjoying the first moments of Jack's career. Here comes Mark Cannon now. The 1 2, swinging a line drive over the glove. Boy, it looked like it ticked off the glove of Josh Smith down the left field line. He's a long way away from his father. He has to give up 2,151 more hits, <laughs> and he has to get 1,973 more strikeouts. And the 2 2, a swing and a miss. A change up away, and that was a good looking pitch there from Leiter. He strikes out Carpenter for the second out of the inning. So first and second now with two men out. And that brings up Matt Veerling. And Duran at first is playing a good 30 feet off the line. Here's a swing, and this ball is popped up out into center field. Simeon going back on it gives way to Tavares, who makes the one-hand grab to take care of Veerling for the final out. So it's a shutdown inning in his major league debut. Leiter allows a single and a walk, strikes out two. We'll go to the second inning with Texas on top, one nothing. Smith draws the walk. Leadoff batter on base for the Rangers. Wyatt Langford coming up. Rangers designated hitter steps in. And he hits one sharply over third. That one down the left field line and into the corner. Smith into third base. They're going to wave him home. And the throw just now getting toward the infield. Smith scores easily from first on the Langford double. And the Rangers jump out to nothing. Hammers it down the line. And you can see here it kind of got away from Green in the corner. He tries to play it off the corner, but it gets away for him for that half step. And that's when Beasley decided to send Josh Smith, and he scores easily. So that brings Jonah Heim to the plate. Runner at second. Nobody out. Rangers leading to nothing. And he hits his ball hard down the right field line. That one headed to the wall. It's gone. Jonah Heim gets one out, and it's now 4-0 Rangers. Jonah's third home run of the year. The Texas Rangers offense looks like it's back. It's been struggling in Detroit. No home runs coming into this game in Detroit. Now two home runs in two innings. Fastball down and in ball four, so he walks Keith to begin the bottom of the second. So here's Urshela. Strike one, swing a line drive right center. Over the head of Marcus Simeon just kept traveling out of his reach he gave chase about 30 35 feet out of the outfield grass Gio Urshelly got the breaking ball away and just served it into right that brings up Javi Baez again the Tigers just have had a really tough time scoring runs early swinging a line drive down the left field line is going to get to the corner two skips to the wall Keith rounding third he will score over to third goes Urshela Javi Baez jumps on the first pitch rips a double into the left field corner Tigers are on the board now trailing four to one that's what we like to see Dan 96 we're not going to wait around we're going to attack 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 early mound visit for Mike Maddox Carson Kelly two big runners in scoring positions so important to get them home the 2 2 swinging a ground ball up the middle out of score runs. Simeon will field near the bag and flip over to first to Duran. Gio Urshela scores. That job won for Carson Kelly. At least get that runner home from third. He did that with the ground ball with the infield back. The lineup turns over for Riley Green. 3 2 to Riley Green. He sends it packing deep to right field. It goes and banging off the wall. 
Riley wants three in honor of Sam Crawford's birthday. <laughs> Not a floor, Riley. Listen, one too many pitches on the inside part of the play, and he drops the head on this baseball. And he crushes this ball off the right center wall, just missing a home run. Finishing it off with the head first slide. How good is it to see a crooked number up there, Dan? Scoring three. Leiter sets the 2 2, swinging a line drive, base hit into left. Green into score, Canna ties the game. Good, hard contact all inning long for Tigers hitters. Canna drives it out to left field. They're having fun now. Talking about Jack Leiter, he did have those big moments in the College World Series. He has pitched in on the big stage. It was in college, but this probably is a different feeling. It's 2 2. There's a swing and a miss. He strikes out Carpenter for a second time today. And a really good change up here, down and away. Oh, that went down to third base. Smith will go the short way to second, and they force out Canna. The inning is done. So here's Garcia. 4 4 the score, one out. 2 2, and Garcia hits one high and deep to left center field. Green and Veerling back. They turn, they look out of here. Adolis Garcia leaves the yard, visiting his friends in the Rangers' bullpen with a solo shot. And the Rangers reclaim the lead with their third home run of the game. It's 5-4. to four. And with two outs, that brings up Ezekiel Duran. The Rangers leading 5-4, to four, but trying to add some support here. And the 2-1 pitch. Duran swings, hits one back towards the middle. It's bobbled by Keith. Picks it up, throws to first, and it is just in time to get Duran. Duran staying on the bag. He thinks he's safe, and Bruce Bochy puts his hands over his ears, and he's going to ask for a review. Call is overturned. The runner's safe. Texas retains their challenge. So a great job by Adam Brenner and communicating to Bruce Bochy. Jack Leiter getting set to face Matt Veerling, Colt Keith, and Gio Urshela. And this popped up down the first baseline. Duran giving a long run for it, and he got to it to make the catch. That's a nice play by Ezekiel Duran. That's a heck of a play. Very tough. Two outs, nobody on. Rangers leading 6-4 here in the bottom of the third. And the breaking ball is popped up weakly to right. Garcia in, Simeon out. Garcia the call and the catch. And it's a 1-2-3 inning for Jack Leiter. The first 1-2-3 inning of his career. Top of the order here in the top of the fourth for the Rangers, who lead it 6-4. And Marcus Simeon swings and drives one up the alley in right center. And that gets down for the base hit. Rolling a long way, Veerling gets it at the edge of the track as Simeon sees that the ball is dropped now. He takes off from second and heads to third. Now it's a solid double and likely an error here on Veerling to get him to third. It's the first out here on the top of the fourth. Brings up Evan Carter. Fajardo's 2-1, and that's going to be enough to get the run home for sure. Veerling goes back, makes the catch. Simeon tags, heads to the plate, a sack fly. For Evan Carter, it's his sixth RBI of the year. So runners at first and second now for the three-hole hitter, Kerry Carpenter. Carpenter gives it a ride. Center field. Tavares is back at the track. He didn't make the catch. He couldn't find the ball. Thank you very much. Triples galore, 7-6. I'm not sure exactly what happened here. Taking a look at the flag now, the wind is blowing out. Tavares didn't do a good job of getting back. And you can see Jack Leiter. He can't believe Tavares didn't make the play at all. But the Tigers are taken. Torque hoping to do some damage. The Tigers clawing back again. Torque labels this ball into left center field. Cannon fire into the gap, and we're tied again. That's the sound that you love to hear off the bat of Spencer Torkelson. That means that he did everything right. The rhythm, the timing. And that will do it for Jack Leiter's big league debut. Just short of getting through the fourth inning. This ball game tied at seven. So Leote picks up the double and gives the Rangers a scoring chance here. Here's a 2-1 from Miller. Ground ball shortstop. And Tavares got himself into a rundown here. And he's had a tough day today. He, he missed the tag. And Tavares gets underneath it and gets to third base. Oh my, Leone's had a kind of a challenging day today. A couple of plays that have been a little, little tricky for him. 
And he got himself into trouble there, but somehow managed to avoid the tag. That's amazing. Seeger, two hits already today, bounces it first base. Torkelson from his knees goes to second, and that one goes off the glove. Everybody is safe. A run is scored, and the Rangers on top 8-7. This has just seemed to be the series, hasn't it? Just teams taking advantage of mistakes, defensive mistakes. So Duran on board, runners at first and second now for Laoti Tavares. Laoti will swing from the right side. The 1-1, breaking pitch, he's hit hard into left field, and that will drop in front of Green for the base hit. Rounding third is Smith. He comes in to score. Stopping at second is Duran. Laoti Tavares with a run scoring single. And the Rangers are up now 9 to 7. That brings the tying run to the plate of the person of Javier Baez. Runner goes. And the 1 1 pitch. That's in the air right field. Garcia toward the line. And drifting back, he makes the catch. And this one is over. And every time Baez puts it in the air, you're a little scared. But Yates gets it done. A 9-7 Rangers win. And they take the series three games to one.